Assalamu alaikum everybody. Alaikum uh, what, is the, what, what is the difference yeah. between what the Western concept of the heart as an emotional center and the Islamic concept of the heart as uh, a qalb, a spiritual center that connects us to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For instance, if it goes wrong, it can turn upside down and one's conscience no longer works correctly. We have discussed this in some lectures, in particular if you are interested, in Ma'arif al-Qur'an series by Ayatollah Misbah, the section on uh, first volume, I mean the sessions on the first volume. So there's a discussion about Sadr, about Qalb, about Aql, all of them are there. Briefly, from a Qur'anic perspective, you can say Heart is where you find whether someone is good or bad, whether someone is mu'min or not, munafiq or not, honest or not. You know, virtues, vices all relate to heart. Inclinations all relate to heart. It's not just that it's a place for emotions. Yes, emotions are also attributed to the heart, but it's much deeper than that. Even the Quran sometimes attributes understanding to the heart, proper understanding, not just mental understanding. They have hearts with which they don't understand. So what's the difference between a person who has understanding or not? Is not that whether their intelligence or IQ is high or not. Is whether they can utilize their faculties of understanding to gain some knowledge that practically helps them. If I have no knowledge or I have knowledge but practically doesn't help me, I act like someone who has no knowledge, means that this knowledge is not at the level of heart. So heart is like the control room, like a command room. Emotions are there but Virtues and vices are there, Iman and Kufr are there. It's very important. So, by looking at someone's brain or mind, we cannot understand who is good or bad. But if you can look at the heart of people, you can understand whether they are good or bad. 